Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Um, just thank you so much uh, for taking the time out for yourself. A lot of times we, we are so busy on, you know, sending out good vibes and uplifting vibes and loving vibes towards other people. When it's time for ourselves, we don't take that time out to do it for ourselves, which you which we truly need to do that so we're gonna have more vibes and stuff to be able to send out with other people so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your impact again how it impacts your life and you know send you towards a positive you know a having an effect on the positive direction whatever I was trying to say but anyways if the video gives you good information or good vibes you would love to share with the loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that needs spiritual guidance or didn't just need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share um, and while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support i hope you're able to resonate towards the content of my video and today my background music that i'm listening to um is motivational uh i mean motivational meditation video is uh 852 hertz plus 639 hertz uh, miracle tone balance align heart chakra activate penal gland open third eye and I will post that link on the description box below and my video today is twin flame 101 hey Oka spirit guides and ancient ones appear to you uh, uh, appear to you to remind you what you have uh, you have been f forgetting um, it's, it's just crazy how we have been going through all these different major shifts. It's, it's just like with the new moon. I think the new moon is tonight or it already passed. I don't know. I got to go check. But it has been having us really reflect on certain things, you know, because it's like, you know, a lot of times people forget, you know, just because we're trying to clean that, clear that karma for us right now because we're going through the, what is it, karmic, karmic, karmic curse in gen uh, generational I mean, karmic cycles and generational curse we are uh, the ancient ones as, as well as spirit guides are giving us like little snippets of our life um, that things that has happened before that we may not have, we may have forgotten because sometimes we can be able to do certain things let me turn this down a little bit um, some certain times we've been able to experience certain things it's like that it feels you know it feels familiar but I don't feel like I did it before you know a lot of times either it comes through meditation you know a lot of times especially with all these different frequencies of shift that's going on you might find yourself daydreaming a lot like I can feel some of my friends when I talk to them and they don't space out I'm like did you hear what I said and they were like no I spaced out and I don't feel as rude but there's a lot of times you know you have to go you know you have to space out to remember there are certain things that you know you're on a mission for that you might have forgotten about um or things have occurred in your life to remind you of what purpose you have you know there's sometimes we can be lost in translation you know when it comes to our you know our path and stuff like that and we need to be able to have that friendly reminder you know and it's just a blessing you know when I do private one-on-ones with people if you know universe wants me to be able to know to remind them of their past lives the things that they used to do before um that special impact that they did before you know to be able to help them in the situation there and now that is going to help you sever all those you know those negative cords that we need to stop it's been a blessing to me so it's just like where does this come from you know and it's, it's just amazing when I'm able to do that and it, I feel like it's such a uplift to me because there's sometimes we we do things we're not aware of how much power we have the gifts that are instilled in us you know like I said before when we signed up for this daggone contract we're so contracted towards certain people certain missions that we have to go through people that we feel so comfortable with people sometimes people tell me you're like home you know I, I can be just myself and there's no judgment I said why should I judge you why should I judge you feel like your sin is worse than mine or vice versa I don't never do that I try not to ever do that you know so it's actually a blessing when there you know there's so many people 
they can come towards me and say, oh my gosh, Rosalind, you seem so familiar to me. I don't know why, but it's like our souls have united one way or another. You know, we have all crossed each other's path one way or another. People seem so familiar to you. There's a lot of times when you communicate, you can be able to be who you truly are. You know, with us being, you know, when we're not talking to awakened people, it's like people don't understand the things that we're talking about. They might think we're crazy or you're like, what are you talking about? This don't make any sense. It might not make sense to a person that is not, they're still in that 3D form and are a lot allowing themselves to be awake. But there's some people that are okay with being and there are some people that are just supposed to be being. But with us, we're that type of person and we had to go through those milestones of difficulty in our lives where it comes to abuse hatred you know mistreat all these different tragic things that had to come into our life for us to be able to reflect on others how you can get through anything that's been placed into your life you know spirit guides come to us so many different ways like you can you know with me there's a lot of times i would daydream or, you know, they will allow me to see certain things and I'll go into like a trance, especially when I'm talking to certain people and they'll just start, da, 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 da. you know, I'll just start going off and telling them, look, this is the things you need to be reminded of. You'll start feeling these cold vibes and chills is starting from the head chakra. I mean, you know, the crown chakra all the way down to your spine, even, even going towards your feet. That's like contra confirmation where you're aligning your physical and your spiritual all together because there's certain things we have to go down a journey and learn new things you know connect with people to get answers from them that we might need to be able to change for ourselves in a positive way or just let go of certain things because there are certain times we can be able to see something we might not notice we're doing it but they'll allow us to connect with a person that's doing the same thing we're doing for us to be able to look at them like Ugh, i wish they'll change that and there'll be things that you know it's supposed to mirror to you that you need to change about yourself so it's just all these different things that have came up and which is like you know not for you to be feeling belittled or like, dag, I should have known this. Everything is about divine timing. You know, there's a lot of times where we feel like we should have been, you know, uh, closer to whatever we're trying to achieve before we should have. But there's a lot of times we have to go through those setbacks. A lot of times we have to go through failures, getting thrown to the ground for us to be able to get back up. There's a lot of times you want to you, you just give up. But universe ain't gonna allow you to do that. Your soul ain't either. You know, because there nothing is in life is guaranteed to be easy. Because it's just like you have to be able to work hard for these things to achieve. So I'll make it worth it. You know, a lot of times there's sometimes you know me not being where I want to be yet. But I'm just taking it day by day. I don't know what my future holds for me, but I know it's gonna be in a good place. You know, but I'm just doing what I need to do. Reflect on the things that I need to heal from. Every day is like a, a daily process for yourself. So don't be hard on yourself if you feel like you need to be somewhere before you're, you're supposed to be there. Because guaranteed, if it was meant that way, you would have been there. So it's just like every day you're learning something new about yourself as well as the world. Or it's just in other people that, you know, you connect with. You know, everything happens for a reason. Lesson or a blessing. You know, that you post just check that into a file you know it's just like the universe allows you to go through certain things to see that you know you you'll pray for everything you pray for god will put certain situations in your life to give those things that you need to pay for because it's just like you know with my my situation everything is totally opposite i've lived in poverty you know i didn't you know i had to rob peter to pay paul you know i had to live check by check when it came to my dad my dad was a celebrity he you know he had to go through these things at an early age but he worked hard and got all these things that he's dreamed of doing being a musician so it's just like everything I'm doing it has to be taught to me is you know these things are you know materialistic things are just materialistic things you know um, you have to be able to do things that money can't buy you have to be able to work towards things that money can't buy you know so my dad was going through things that was opposite so it's just like I'm very blessed to be able to experience the things I experienced to be able to know there's things in life is truly better than money. You know, a lot of times we say like, shoot, but I, you know, it would've been okay if we lived comfortable. Yes, it will be. But there's times when you want to be able to achieve those things that you, you know, everybody would love to live comfortably. Who wouldn't? But there's a lot of times we have to be able to seek the understanding of why we had to go through what we had to go through. What we have forgotten 
you know, about life within itself. You know, so many people are just focused on that 3D materialistic stuff. You have to be able to have the things that you can actually hold highly towards yourself that money cannot buy. It's just straight priceless. Love, time. You can't buy time. <laughs> you can't. You know, all these different things that, that, that we cherish that other people just don't see. So, you know, it, it, it's just... The way we have to go through things is taught to us in the most miraculous ways. And it's just like going through these things have really taught me a lot. You know, I cherish the people in my life. I cherish, cherish the people that I no longer speak to in my life. You know, I don't hold, you know, any grudges or ill will towards people. You know, I might feel a certain type of way, but I allow myself to not let that situation take control of, over my happiness or, you know, put me in a bad place. Sometimes it's, would you be in a human form? It does. You know, we're human. You know, you might feel some type of way, but that's what you have to learn through life. You have to be able to, you know, when you want, you, have, you pray for faith. God allows things to happen to you the way it needs to happen. And then when miraculous things come in, you, that that's where the faith steps in. That's when the faith vibes come through. Because there's a lot of times, there's certain things that's happened in my life, and I'll, I'll worry about it a little bit. But then I'll pray to God about it. And next thing you know, it's already taken care of. And I'm just like, there you go. <laughs> you know, and I'll be on the brink of tears of joy because he allowed me to see that, you know, you have to be able to believe in God when you know you're, you're walking in his path and you're doing the things that you're doing. Blessings come left and right, left and right, left and right. Especially if you appreciate them and you show the attitude of gratitude. Oh, that's more, more things that are going to come into your life. They want to be able to bless you with the little things. So when you're grateful for those little things, bigger things start coming towards your way. And then, you know, the things that you're working hard for that they see you never gave up on. Even if you fell or made a, a little minor step back, you know, it's going to end up giving you a, a big breakthrough. You have to understand stuff like that. When you're asking God for patience, he will put you in certain situations where you have no choice to but to be patient. My situation, I don't know where the hell it's taking me, <laughs> but I have to be patient for whatever answers God chooses to tell me. I have to go through that. Don't stop, you know, just doing what you're doing. You know, keep going, keep moving, keep thriving, keep, you know, learning more about yourself, more about your gift, more of helping others to be able to recognize their gift. And it's just a blessing that I can interact with people and remind them of certain things. They have blessed me with a gift where, you know, if you tell me the certain situations you've gone through, or even if you're just, your energy speaks so loudly to me, and I'm able to, you know, I would be able to tell you things there's no way of me possibly knowing. So that is just a bless blessing within itself to me. You know, being able to forgive. You know, there's a lot of people that have put me in certain situations uh, that has tried to block me on certain situations, but I had to be able to let that go. You know, and that was hard for me to do because, my, you know, my mom and them always said, girl, you will hold a grudge even when somebody's in death. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, uh-huh, even though they did, you know, they did this and this and this and that to me. I had to stop doing that. You know, my dad was that type of person. They said something to him and he would just brush it off. You know, I'm like, dang, I should be like, you know, you know, because it would, me and him were totally opposite. You do that to me, I'll be holding it over. And, you know, you can be flipping over in your grave and I'll still be feeling some type of way about you. But now all the incidents that I had to go through in life allowed me to appreciate those certain extent, you know, those certain experiences that came into my life to teach me what I had to teach. You know, not everybody's going to be lighthearted like you. And you shouldn't, you know, when you don't sit up here and give people that expectation of not disappointing you, then you never be disappointed. You know, it's not like you, you, you know, you're hoping the worst for them. But it's just the fact is you have to understand not, not everybody has a kind of heart like you. Just because you won't do somebody a certain way is not guaranteed they're going to do what you do. And they used to hurt me, you know, a lot of times. Because I'm like, dang, you know, I went out my way and did this and this and that for that person. And they weren't even grateful about the situation. Then they try to turn out and hurt me at the same time. But there's a lot of times God people, God put, put, ugh, places people in your path, you know, either to help you learn a certain situation or they're going to be learning off of you. And then they go, you know, some people are there for a season. And there's a lot of times we put ex lifetime expectation on seasonal people. You know, you have to be able to roll with the punches, being able to see what this, you know, what was the sub subliminal message towards this connection you have with that person and take it for what it's worth and learn and then keep going but you know know that the spirit guys and the ancient ones are on a very big mission with us right now 
a lot of things is, you know, converting, going over, you know, all these vibes are being recycled. You know, there's days where we just feel, feel fully drained. Like I was going to do videos yesterday. Y'all was tired as hell, you know, from sending out vibes because there were so many people connecting with me that was going through a lot of stress and sadness or whatever going through. I sent so many vibes out the other day and then on top of that channeling other people. So I'm just like, you know what? I had to take my rest you know I gotta do what I gotta do I gotta recharge because it was really heavy and I hate to see people going through sad situations I know what it feels like so you know I just tried to send out as much love and light as possible but I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video I hope y'all are safe um and everything you do like I've told y'all before I didn't tell on the last two videos but it's like I, I started back a, a group page where I show up just basically sending out a lot of positive posts to have you reflect sending that good uplift that we need you know um you can join it it's called uh Heoka spiritual journey um where it's a group page where you you can share pictures memes uh, videos even links towards certain things that we might need to know about or things are affecting us in a, in a major way you know if it's like a full moon or a certain moon that we reflect on things like that you can be able to share you know funny things you know to make people laugh and stuff like that or just in a positive uplift you know if it's a prayer chain where somebody you know really feels like people need to pray for them you can also do that as well so you know hopefully I will see a friend request from you soon but uh, I'm going to give a post notification shout out to Beat em Back. Much love to you. Welcome to the family. Uh, I don't know why I feel like I've, you've been here for a while, but you just haven't commented for a while. But even if you have, you know, I'm just saying welcome back in, in, anyway. So you remember, like and subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up, drop me a line, and let me know you resonate. And plus, I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. I'll see you in my next video. Lots of love. Peace.